in this gloaming light. Normally, this time of day, there would be thousands of crows waking up and flying across the horizons. That's what it used to be like. Ah, oh, 15 years ago, there would be thousands and thousands of crows flying across the horizon. Now there's only a few. There's a little flock up on the top of the tree there that just flew across a few moments ago. But there's no longer like a sheet of birds covering the sky in a scrim of flight and cawing. There you can see that's what just flew by. A small amount, not a huge amount. This is why I am farming with nature. Because when a predominant bird of the countryside, when there's less of them, you know there's a lot less of a lot of other birds because they predate on smaller songbirds, their eggs, their nests, the grains, there's all kinds of things. They scavenge worms, dung beetles. They're kind of, you know, the, one of the top birds, the corvid family. And there's a lot fewer now. And it was always wonderful this time of year when the light was like this, to see loads of them flying overhead, not just handfuls, literally handfuls of them. When I was growing up, there was a whole lot more. And it would be glorious being out this time of the morning. And there would be sheets of birds across the sky, all cawing because they've just woken up and are in pursuit and telling, oh, I'm going over to Billy Jobs, or I'm going over to Murphy's Farm, or I'm going this way, or I'm going that way. And now you just hardly see that at all anymore. And this is why I farm with nature and dung beetles and farm with a diverse sword. Because when we lose our wildlife, when there's less of them about, it's bad for us all and it's bad for the environment. It means there's not good things cooking in nature because we need them as much as they need us. We've just psychologically been schooled to think that we're the dominant species. We are in some senses, but we all need each other to survive and the loss of one is as bad as the loss of many.